What's up guys, it's Dallas here and today we are back for another X Pixel Art tutorial. In this video we are going to continue where we left off last time and try to complete the bottom layer that we are working on. Uh, before we get started in this video, I want to give a quick thanks to Charles. I hope that you are enjoying the videos and thank you for commenting. Alright, so the first thing that we are going to start off at is all the way up here at the brown mushroom box where we left off last time. We're going to place this a brick block on top of a jungle wood plank and then up right diagonal another brick block. Down left diagonal or down right diagonal we're going to place this two brick blocks going to right and then one up right diagonal from there. I know that's a lot of diagonals and sounds really complicated but hopefully that made a bit of sense. From here we're going to grab us normal granite and we're going to take two granite and we're going to place Underneath the far left brick, we're going to place this two underneath, one, two, and then one to the right. To the brick block. Then we're going to go to the right brick block, the one underneath the uh, far right one. We're going to go one, polish, or one granite and then one more to the right of it. We're then going to place us brown mushroom block to right the brick block. And then place us another brick block to write the granite to write that brick block we're going to place this brown mushroom block and underneath the brown underneath the brick block we're going to place this granite and then place one more to write and place one more after that and place it up so I should have just said three and then up back down to row of three we're going to place two to write one two and from there what we're going to do is down right diagonal we're going to place us two one two and then we're going to place us one down right diagonal like this. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to grab us light gray terracotta. And we're going to place light gray terracotta to the right of the granite block. And then we're going to take us a bookshelf next. And we're going to place it to the right of the light gray terracotta. Now, if you want to know if you got this right or not, it should just be directly next to the iron ore like this and it should link up like that. Now, all we have that's left is this giant gap right here, which we'll try to go ahead and get done pretty fast and pretty easily. Okay, so how we're going to get this done is we're going to go and grab us polished granite. And with the polished granite, we're just going to work on this and it hopefully won't take us no time. So underneath where we built up one on top over on the three granite, we're gonna go down to polish granite, one, two. Then we're gonna grab us a oak wood plank and then place one underneath it and place one to left. From there, we are going to place us two, two polished granite going to left. So underneath the left oak wood plank, go one, two. And then place us two oak wood planks to the left of the polished granite we are then going to take us a birch wood log and we're going to place it down right diagonal from the oak wood log we are then going to take us our orange or er, let me clear the hot bar real quick we're going to take us orange glazed terracotta and grab our oak wood or er, our birch wood log again we're going to place us orange glazed terracotta, one underneath the birch with log, and then one to the right of it. We're then going to place us two polished granite to the right of the birch with log, one, two, and then place us orange glazed terracotta to the right of it. We're then going to place us two birch with logs, and these are all facing out to the right of the orange glazed terracotta. We can then go down another layer from that, and we're going to go all the way f from the orange glazed terracotta. To the right of it, we're going to place us, oops, birchwood logs facing out all the way to the gold ore. Okay. The next thing that we're going to do is we are going to go down to the gold ore down here. And we're going to place us on top of the left gold ore, polished granite, and then two on top of the right. Next thing we're going to do from there is place us a birchwood log to the left of the polished granite at the bottom. Then I'll go up a layer on top of that and place us three to the left of the polished granite. So one, two, three. On top of the far left one, we're going to place this orange glazed terracotta. 
and then we are going to go up four layers from the right of the orange glazed terracotta. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. Next thing we're going to do is from the very top, we're going to build all the way over to the right. Oops. To the far right. And then we're going to fill in the gap that we've left here with birchwood logs. There we go. And now that we've done and filled it in, upright diagonal from the birch with logs. We're going to fill in more birch with logs like this. And we just went one over from the far um, from the far left, so just go one over. Hopefully that's playing that good. Okay, next thing we're going to do is from on top of the birch with log that we did, we went one over. We're just going to place this three polished granite on top of it, one, two, three, which will link up directly to the orange glazed terracotta. And we're just going to do one more layer of birch with logs all the way to the very end. All right. Now, the next thing we, we're going to do is, let's see, let's go ahead and let's Hmm. Okay, let's. We're not gonna fill it in just yet. We are gonna grab us granite and just normal granite. I replace the granite. We've already filled up the wall right here, which is three layers. So we're going to place this granite to the left of the wool. Um, up top, one layer above where we filled up to. I believe I've gone ahead and I've gotten all the other blocks we need in this area. So the next thing we're going to do is pretty simple. We're just going to take our polished granite and fill it all the way in. Once we get this done, we have completed another layer of the pixel art. And this one, this pixel art is really simple. We're just doing it by layers. That way I can kind of keep track of where we're working at. And this is just the main part so far. The background is similar, really similar. It's in layers. So that way, work on it really easy. Each layer basically has their own kind of shade in the layer. See, we're just filling all of this in, and we go back over here to the right and fill this in with polished granite. And we're done. So let's go ahead and back away and let's see how it's looking. Alright. So, the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to start off on the very far left and like I said I'm not going to be working on any of the background so I'm going to try to avoid the background as much as possible I'm going to go ahead and clear up my hot bar though and we're going to uh, start filling up once we get over here we're starting right here on the far left we are going to take us a oops we're going to take us a spruce wood plank <laughs> We are then going to take us a oak wood log. We're going to take us note blocks. And then we're going to take us soul sand. Okay, and whenever you're grabbing soul sand, be very careful because I've accidentally grabbed soul soil before. And both are two different blocks. And I. I didn't even know that they had soul, soul soil originally whenever I was working on it was with the Naruto one I haven't I hadn't played through the nether update that much once um so I didn't know about that so I accidentally grabbed that and used it in one of the areas and I don't even know where I put it 
Uh, next thing we're going to do is grab us a dark oak wood log as well. And I think what we'll do is we'll try to use, we'll try to work on this next layer. This is more smaller layer. And then the next layer after it is going to be a bit more complicated. But we are getting really, really like good progress done so far. So it's really good. And I think this black wall is definitely helping because it's going to make a lot of the different blocks easier to place down, especially the logs. Okay, so there's one more thing we need to do. We need to grab us a bedrock. And we're going to take us our, starting on the to right of the bookshelves at the very top, we're going to place us our spruce wood plank, then place us oak wood log on top of it. We are then going to take us our bedrock, a bright diagonal from the oak wood log, and go up three dag. And this is continuously diagonal, so we're going to go one, two, three, and one more, four. Oops, four. There we go. Alright, so from here, what we're going to do is underneath the bedrock to far left, we're going to take us our note blocks and build all the way down. And then we're going to go up from the very bottom note block, go up one, and then to the right of it, just go all the way down again with note blocks. This time, we're going to take us our note block at the very bottom, and we are going to go all the way down to the bookshelf at the very bottom. So we're just going to go one to right, and then all the way all the way down. As you can see, it's kind of hard to go down and place note blocks at the same time. So right on top of the bookshelf, we're going to go three, one, two, three. And then we're going to go three, three again, one, two, three. We're then going to grab us some brown wool and we're place it to the right of the bookshelf. And then we're going to place this up four note blocks, one, two, three, four. At the very bottom note box, we're going to go one to right and then one down. To right of the bottom note block, we're going to place this a dark oak wood log and soul sand underneath. To left, we're going to go back on top of the two note blocks and place this up to soul sand on top. And on top of the soul sand, we're going to take us our dark oak wood log and place it on top of it. On top of the note block to the left of the dark oak wood log, we're gonna place our soul sand, go up three, one, two, three. To the left of that, we're gonna go back down note box, go up three again with soul sand, one, two, three. And then on the next one, we're gonna go up four to the left, one, two, three, four. Okay. Starting off, what we're gonna do is we are gonna take our dark oak wood log and go in the middle. We're gonna go one, two, one, two. And then these are all facing out the dark oak wood logs. Um, to the right, we're going to place us on top of the soul sand 2, uh, going up to dark oak with logs, 1, 2. Next thing we're going to do from here is we are going to build our soul sand on top of note block all the way up to the bedrock. And then to the bedrock to the far right, we're going to go down 2 with soul sand, 1, 2. And then in the between this little gap, we're going to fill in with soul sand, 1, 2, 3. Now, what we're going to do is underneath the soul sand with 2, it's going all the way down when it places us our dark oak wood logs like this. There we go. Alright. And that's what I was saying. This layer is really a lot more thinner. So we're just going to go through and try to get all this done. So next thing that we are going to do. Hmm. Alright, let's go to the right of the bookshelf where we have the soul sand placed at. I'm going to place the soul sand to the right of the bookshelf and then place this spruce wood, uh, spruce, spruce, spruce wood plank underneath the soul sand. Then we're going to take us soul sand to the right of the spruce wood plank and then take us note block underneath the spruce or er, the soul sand. Then we're going to take us a dark oak wood log to the right of the note block Oops. and place a soul sand underneath the dark oak wood log and then place us note block to write in soul sand next thing we're going to do is we are going to go we're going to go to right on top of the bookshelves and we're going to build up three with note blocks one two three go to right on top of the other bookshelves to the right of it go up three again with note blocks one two three once more go to right on top of the oak wood log and go up four one two three four 
and then we're going to take us our soul sand and build all the way up to the note box where it's even and then we're going to go two up above it one two and then we're going to go to right of it go two on top of the note box one two okay on top of the soul sand to left we're going to place this a dark oak wood log and go two to the left of it one two underneath the far left we'll place a soul sand and then under to right the soul sand we're going to go down three one two three and that's with dark oak wood logs next thing we're going to do is here on top of note block we're going to go in this the note box sticking up we're going to go two with dark oak wood logs one two and then to the right of the very bottom um Oof. To the very bottom, uh, to right at the very bottom, dark oak with log, place this one more log and place soul sand underneath. To right of the next layer of note box, right here at the very right, place this dark oak with log. And we're going to place us our soul sand all the way down to the oak log. We are then going to take us our soul sand on top of the next oak wood log go up two one two and then two dark oak wood lo logs on top one two next thing we're going to do from there is take our soul sand and go two on top of the bookshelves one two and then two on top of crafting table one two we're then going to place a soul sand in between the oak wood log and then one on top of the soul sand that we just placed Next thing we're gonna do is place us. We're gonna go over to right and place this three soul sand on top of the bookshelf, right in between the oak wood log and the nether core right here, and go one, two, three, and the nether core ore. And we're gonna place us dark oak wood log on top of the soul sand and one to left, and then place the soul sand underneath the one to left. Next thing we're gonna do is place us a note block in between the oak wood logs, and place us two dark oak place a soul sand two to the right of the dark oak wood logs one two and place us a note block to the right of the soul sand on top of the note wood no note wood okay oof uh, on top of the note block we're gonna place this dark oak wood log and one to left up upright diagonal from the right dark oak wood log we're gonna place us another dark oak wood log and then we're gonna take us Hmm. Now we're gonna do this. All right, so we're gonna take us, uh, grab us our crafting table, place it to right the bookshelf at the very right here, on top of the bookshelf at the very right, and then place two bookshelves to the right. One, two. Then we're gonna take us our spruce wood logs from the note block all the way down on top of the bookshelves. We then place a spruce wood log to right the bookshelf. And then underneath the left bookshelf. And then we're gonna place us another spruce wood plank down left diagonal from the crafting table on top of the crafting table. From there we're gonna take a soul sand, place soul sand to the right of the very bottom bookshelf. And then we're gonna place us a note block upright diagonal from the soul sand, and then place a soul sand to the right of the note block. Next thing we're gonna do is place us a dark oak wood log to right at the soul sand, and then place us two note blocks on top of the dark oak wood log, and then place soul sand on top. To left on top of the spruce wood plank, we're gonna go up two with note blocks, and then place this dark oak wood log on top. To left of that log, we're gonna place a soul sand, and then soul sand up left diagonal. From there, we're gonna place this note block, note blocks all the way down to the far left to where they and when it breaks the one at the very end just just so they're up or so they're down right diagonal from the dark oak wood log right there and when just fill that in from the far left note block we're gonna go one over to right and then one up on top of it and then place a dark oak wood log on top hopefully everything i've explained has been you know you've been able to understand everything i've explained so far like I said, it's pretty early in the morning. Uh, actually, I'm not sure if I said that this video in the last one. But it's pretty early. It's like 7 o'clock now. So, 
I'm trying to do my best, or is the best I can uh, with how early it is. Alright, so we're going to place the soul sand to right of the oak wood log, and then one underneath it. Then we're going to place two to right of the bottom soul sand, one, two, and then one upright diagonal. From there, we're going to place us up to soul sand on top of the on top of the uh, crafting table. One, two. We're then going to place us soul sand on top of the bookshelf and then place us um, soul sand all the way from the note block all the way up to the note block at the top here. We're then going to place us a dark oak wood log on top and then place a soul sand to the right and then one more on top of the right. From there, we're going to place a dark oak wood log in the middle and place this one to left and place this one to right and place this one up on top of the right. We're then going to place a soul sand on top of the bookshelf to the right and then place this one more up onto the right. To the far right, we're going to place this a dark oak wood log on top of soul sand and place this two soul sand to the right of the dark wood, dark oak wood log. Then we're going to place up two on top of the dark oak wood log and place the soul sand to the left. Next thing we're going to do is down here in between the dark oak wood logs, we're going to place this two note blocks to the left dark oak wood log. So one, two, and then place this three dark oak wood logs to the left of the note block. One, two, three, and then place this one down in the middle. From there, we're going to place this up left diagonal from the dark oak wood log, we're place this one dark oak wood log. From the middle, we're going to place this three dark oak wood logs to right. One, two, three. On top of the dark oak wood logs, we're going to place this three soul sand. Oops. And then we're going to place this a note block on the far right soul sand and down right diagonal. We're going to place this another note block. We're then going to place a soul sand underneath the note block and to the right of it up two on top of the dark oak wood logs. One, two. On top of the soul sand, to, or the note block to right, we're going to place this soul sand. And to the left of the note block up top, we're going to place this three soul sand. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is go to the far right. On top of the note block, we're going to place this up three soul sand. One, two, three. Place the soul sand to the left. And then place one up left diagonal. We're then going to place this a dark oak wood log up diagonal, up left diagonal. And we are going to take us our dark oak wood logs and build all the way down, all the way straight down. So from the one that we placed up left diagonal. To the left of the dark oak wood logs, we're gonna go up three, one, two, three, and then go on top of note block, one to the left. Or one on top of note block to the left. To the right, we're gonna fill in this little gap right here with just dark oak wood logs. And these are all facing outwards. Okay. Next thing we do is we're gonna go ahead and hop over here to our right. I want to take our soul sand. I want to fill in this little gap down here. This little two by two square. One two one two. We're gonna go go all the way up to note block. Fill that in and do the same on the other side. Okay, so next thing we're going to do from here, up left diagonal from the three note block, we're going to go two to left, one, two, then go two on top of the left dark oak wood log, one, two. In the middle of dark oak wood logs, we're going to place us one to left, and then going down left diagonal, we're going to place us two, one, two, and then we're going to go one underneath the one that we placed the last one that we have placed and then place us one to left down one one to left then we place us up one up left diagonal like this and it should land directly underneath the bookshelf from there we place the soul sand to left of the dark oak wood uh, dark oak wood log we're gonna go up to underneath the note block and place us two to left with soul sand one and two we're gonna go to right of the note block place us one soul sand to right of the bookshelf soul sand 
right, bookshelf again, soul sand. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a soul sand, place it underneath the, or in between the, oh, oops, that's not good. Place a soul sand in between the note blocks right here, or up left diagonal from the bookshelf. And then we're going to place a soul sand right here in between note blocks and the dark oak logs. And then we're just going to fill in this gap right here with soul sand. Okay, how are we doing on time? We're doing really good on time. I'm almost done for uh, for now. The, the last thing we gotta do is just fill in this little gap right here with soul sand and then fill in the rest of this chunk right here with soul sand. And then I think that's where I'm gonna leave it at for now because all we were doing was trying to get the outline. So the next thing we do is work on the next layer above. And yeah. So I think I'm going to go ahead and leave it there for today. I know it's been a, this one is a little shorter, but in the next video we'll continue to work our way up. And we are really close to finishing the, uh, well, I guess not the entire pixel art, but the, this part here. All right, so I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I want to thank you all for watching, and I hope you guys are enjoying the series. I think I might work on a few other projects as well. Um, after making this, so I guess we'll see uh, which way I go. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.